Hey guys, welcome back to Amanda's Favorites. I have new videos here every week, generally on Tuesdays and Fridays at noon now. Today is a special video though. Launch videos can be at all different days and times. Today, Erin Condren is doing one of their, you know, small launches throughout the year. It is their Essentials Collection launch. And it's things like, I haven't opened it yet. We're gonna open it together and explore it and open every product together, which is not something I normally do. But I think when I have a really short time to turn around a video, just a couple of days, that it's a fun way to do it. And also you get my real initial reactions because I don't have a period of time that I can test out the products anyway. So we might as well just open it together and explore them together. These essentials are things like sticky notes, scissors, productivity items like timers, washi tape dispenser, a new plenty pack some markers, so those type of things, like office essentials. And they sent me this collaboration box, and I am excited to be able to share it with you. I signed up for this collaboration because these are the types of items that interest me, like office essentials. So it sounded really fun to me, and I'm grateful that uh, now that Pierce is working with me, that I have time to throw in extra videos like this now that we have gone to two videos a week. So let's jump right in. All I've done is cut open the tape, I promise you guys, because I, I didn't wanna bring my box cutter up here, but that's all I've done and covered up my address. So we are gonna open it together. If you are new here, I wanna make sure that you know that I have a $10 off Erin Condren if it's your first purchase. So your very first purchase with Erin Condren, you go to my $10 off link down below. You sign up with your email. You can't have signed up with them with your email before, but you sign up with your email and they will send you a $10 off coupon in the email right away. It stacks with all their sales, but the only purchase you can ever use it on is your first purchase with Erin Condren. I used somebody's random coupon out there. I don't remember whose for my first purchase with Erin Condren years and years ago too. And I also have an Erin Condren affiliate link. If you just click to their website through my link down below when you're shopping, that helps support my channel. That shows them how many people I bring to them and I also make a small percentage of the sale. And I thank you so much for using those links when you shop all throughout the year. Let's jump into this box. So the paper was not taped or anything because like I said, I have not done anything with this box. A lot of times their bubble wrap like is taped over. So we're just gonna take all these products out and we're gonna unbox them together. And yep, this looks like a box that is right up my alley with interest. Let's jump in here. Let's open the scissors first because they might actually help me open everything else. I actually love these Kitty Fiskar scissors. Ever since I taught kindergarten 20 something years ago, <laughs> I have always loved these because they fit in small places and they work so well, just like big scissors. But we'll, we'll try to use the pretty scissors if we can get these open. I have a list pulled up on my computer here to tell me pricing on these. Let's see if I can find the scissors, 1850. And all these products supposedly launch today, February 14th. I know sometimes they have launches that release, you know, certain amount of the products and then it's a couple days or something till the others, but these all say that they launch today. So these are like productivity office essential products. And this is quite the undertaking. This is why I usually open all the packages before my videos. All right, these scissors, they are beautiful. They are big. They are also heavy. So just know that the front end, you know where the metal is, super heavy, but they seem like they're gonna work well. They fit my hand well. Okay, something new I learned though is that lefties need left scissors. Okay, let's see where we wanna jump in. Next, let's do an easy one. Tabbed sticky notes, three pack, 850. So that's what this is. It's a three pack, 20 adhesive sticky notes. We have a today, an important that says top priority and for later and a goals, my goal and action steps. These do not have the 3M branding on the back. It doesn't feel overly sticky to me. I'm gonna stick it on the foam board right next to me while I film here and see how it does. But I know a lot of people for these type of things would put the roller dot sticky on the back if they wanted it to be permanently, you know, in as a tab in their planner. So you might use this 
goals, you know, at the beginning of every week or at the beginning of every month in your planning. Important top priority for later, that could be daily or it could be weekly and just, you know, a little daily to-do list. So those are their three pack of sticky notes. Let's stay on the sticky note train here and open these three pads times 20 sheets each, 60 total sheets in here. Oh, th these are your clip-in sticky notes. Yeah, no 3M on the back of these either. See, these are stuck on here with adhesive and you just can stick these in your planner, pop them in your Erin Condren coil and have sticky notes at the ready for you. These actually feel stickier than these to me. Yeah, they definitely do. The feel, now I don't know how they'll stick, but the feel of these feels stickier than these. I'm gonna stick them both on my foam sideboard here as I film, and we will see. These are beautiful ombre with the little asterisks, and that one says noted, that one says important, that one's blank for you to fill in. Two with lines and one blank. Really pretty colors. So if you like having sticky notes at the ready, or like planning ahead things. You don't like to write in your planner until, you know, they actually happen. I might actually use these in like when you're, you know, planning way ahead and you're not sure if things are gonna happen. And so you stick these in. I might give these a trial in my planner right now. Okay, I wanna open this because it is just stunning. Oh, and I didn't tell you the price of those sticky notes. And it was $6.50 for those. That seems like a really good price for this one. 650. Okay, this, I think this is the A5 monochrome notebook, but it doesn't go, it says ocean. And mine has flowers. So I don't know if they have a couple different ones, but that's the only thing I see on the list that could go with this. And it's 1050. So this is like their softbound notebooks, but it does feel like they've had a remake, you guys. The covers feel a little bit different. I mean, they feel good in hand, but they feel different. This is a stunning cover. I love it. And the inside you have these like, I think they call this, I don't remember what layout they call this. It's like their new layout. I don't know if they call it. It's not their pro productivity layout because that was like a different one. So this is all gray tones in here. You could use this for daily planning. You could use this for a weekly list. I think it would do really well daily with all the different, you know, you have a big note section that could be scripting or notes or anything. You have a to-do list. You have a list here, a smaller list, a box, and a header to put the date. And so it is just, end pages are just white. So while the outside's colorful, the inside is just all gray in here. I do not know how many pages are in here. I know it will be listed on their website. Really long ribbon bookmarker. I'm actually thinking that is way too long. So I'm not sure what happened there. If I got one that was cut wrong, or if they are really all like this, I can't imagine them really all being that long. But the cover is stunning. It is such a small, portable, little notebook that feels so good in hand and also makes a really nice gift. And you can see, obviously, all the coloring from this collection are coordinating here. Okay, this is interesting. Let's op open this one, the Productivity Timer. Let's see if my big scissors will help me do this. And I wanna know how long this times. I can't read the really small print on there. They have a one, three, five. Oh, a one minute, three minute, and five minute. That is interesting because they're all going at once, but there's a one minute, three minute, and five minute. And all going down at one time. That is pretty fun. Okay, we'll leave that in the shot. That's fun, it might be motivating to kids working on homework or homeschool or, although five minutes is not that long, but I suppose like a task that you're really trying to focus on for five minutes, it could be good. A Just a new planny pack. So if you've been with Erin Condren, you're very familiar with their planny packs. They hold pens, markers, even your phone, whatever you wanna hook around your planner. It can hook around just the front cover or it can go around, I have an Erin Condren notebook here, not a planner for our pen testing. It can go around just the front cover or it can go around your entire planner. You can stretch it like that. So if you haven't seen a planning pack, it goes on just like that. You also have a front pocket you could slip your phone in, but if you were really carrying it and didn't want your phone to fall out, you could slip your phone even in here. But I really like this design. It is a beautiful one. It has texture to the vegan leather, a really stretchy strap, a gold zipper, the Erin Condren pull, and 
anything you want to go in here. There is a big pocket and then a smaller pocket like for sticky notes, but you could also just load it up like this with a lot of pins in there. So they call these, yes, the ultimate planning pack now. And how much are these now? It's $20.50. Let's go on to, hmm. Hmm, I should have brought some washi tape over here, but I didn't know this was in here. I did have the list in my email of what was coming and the prices. That's what I'm looking at, but I did not actually like look at it and study it beforehand. Interesting. So I will have to grab us some washi and see if I can figure this out at the end. We will, we'll see about that and see how it works by the end. Okay. This is washi tape fan, a uh, colorful gradient washi 1050. I'm not sure if that's this because this is labeled washi tape fan, washi tape fan. Oh, it's like a paint, you know, sample fan. This is washi tape you just pull off and have just a little bit of color on a page. I like this. I like this. This is my test notebook, as you can see. But you know what? Let's do a new page with just the essentials, pens, and everything, and all this. I like that washi tape. I mean, it's easy. It's so easy. You just, you have this fan and you just look for the color you want. Oh, I love the yellows, greens, and you just plop it down. Let's try this vibrant green here. Oh yeah, those are, I like them. Those are winners for me. And let's see about writing on them. So let's, let's just try Sharpie S gel. Okay, that looks like it's gonna smear. Yeah, I thought so. So it looks like unless you wanna wait for something to dry, you're gonna have to use a Sharpie Ultra Fine. On my Ultra Fines, I put washi on here to label it so I don't get them confused with my just the fine tip Sharpies, the bigger ones, when I'm grabbing them out. Oh yeah, this writes great on here. Yeah, and of course, no smearing. So that's what I would write on these with personally. I like this washi tape fan. That is a winner for me and something I would use. Okay, then we have an acrylic ruler. Will I start using this ruler to measure everything in my videos instead of my old fashioned wooden ruler that I've had <laughs> several people comment on before and tell me like, why don't you get a more beautiful ruler? <laughs> Over the years, people have said that. And the reason is because when I'm not wearing my reading glasses, this is so easy for me to read off of on the filming table, like even from far away. It's big, it's clear to me, and I can see it. And that is why I use this old fashioned wooden ruler, you guys. I like it, okay? It's not pretty, but I am a person that is practical over pretty. If you've been here for any amount of time or you follow me on Instagram, you probably know that. This is a fun ruler, though. It looks pretty on white paper. However, for my aging eyes, you know, I have to tip it up to be able to see it. But if you want a pretty ruler, I mean, look at that. That is stunning on paper. And I think kids would think this is really fun and they would have no problem reading it. So that's a fun ombre ruler. Okay, I think all we have left besides trying the washi tape is pens then. These are fine tip highlighters. Oh, interesting, fine tip highlighters. These are 1650 for a 10 pack of fine tip highlighters. Let's try these and they are labeled, you guys. I love that. So we know the color. On dual tip markers, I always wish they were labeled. Okay, this one's labeled red. I mean, it looks more orange when you put it down, but I love that they are labeled. And when you're not wanting a big tip, I think these are great. Even if you were writing in your planner, let's say, I don't know, something and you want it like an appointment, but you wanted to underline it instead of highlight it, right? That works great to do that. Or, you know, you can put the highlight above and below the appointment like I did, but with the same color. So we have all these different colors in here, lavender, orange, green, yellow. Let's try the yellow. Yeah, I mean, these are definite. They are fine tip and they are, you know how you can deem kind of a highlighter if it is a more squishy tip, has any give to it or a very hard tip. 
I, I say these are very, these are very, very hard tips, but really good for fine highlighting. Let's move on to the marker pens. Double line marker set? Yeah, I think that's what this is called. Double line marker pens, 1650. These are one of those innovative double line things that they do. That personally, I think artistic people could do really cool things with or kids would think are really fun. I mean, because look, writing with it, I mean, it is really fun to write with these. And the colors they've paired up, I also love that they put the colors on here, Pacific and green. I think kids and adults alike like that the colors are labeled. And that is just something really fun to write with. Let's do one more because you guys, these are pretty satisfying <laughs> to write with. What's this one? This one is the peony and purple one. So fun. Okay, I'm sure we will see some creative souls doing really cool things with those. Gel pens, colorful essentials, 10 pack for $18.50. This is a six pack. And this one was a 10. Okay, 10 pack colorful gel pens. Let's start with a green. They look very fine tip. Oh, interesting. These actually flow, and I love that they're putting the names on these. I love how you can see the color all throughout. These flow really well out. I don't know, I would guess it's like a 0.5. Let's try a dark blue color. These are fun if you want colorful pens. They seem very inky, very flowy, and it's a pretty set that I also think would make a nice gift or that teenagers or kids could get excited about writing with. I think they would make good journaling pens because they flow really well. You know, you want a very easy flowing pen if you're writing fast flowing journaling. Okay, we're gonna grab a few rolls of washi and we're gonna see if I can figure this out before we go. Okay, I am back. I did not see any instructions on the box. And I'm gonna be honest, I'm not great at figuring these things out. Okay, I'm glad I got that. <laughs> so, but obviously you need to leave it inserted in here. Let's stick these on here. So I have, okay, four rolls and could definitely fit five rolls of Erin Condren washi at least on here. I just happened to grab the Erin Condren washi, but most washi is that size. And then we pull the washi and we pull off how much we want. Oh, you get the cool tape end line there. I think that's pretty cool. This is a fun gadget. Let's make the rest of them, or at least one more. Let's do one more. Yeah, and if you had all five rolls, they would obviously stay set up on here like that. You can pull off as long as you want, and you get that cool end on there, and you place it down. I really actually like this washi. So you would obviously leave some give and leave it stuck up there. But that is your washi tape dispenser that can hold five rolls. Okay, guys, that was a really fun unboxing with you, this Essentials Collection. I hope it was helpful as these new products launch with Erin Condren today. I would love to hear your thoughts on these products. I'm sure they're launching other products too, and this is just what was sent to me in my box. I would love to hear your thoughts down below in the comments. If there are any of these products that you like that you might want to pick up, or any of the others in the new Essentials collection that I haven't seen that you might want to pick up. I would love to hear about those because I'm going to be perusing the site myself. I hope you have a wonderful day today and I will see you next time. Take care of yourselves so you can take care of others. Bye-bye.